either obtain your boarding pass or your bag pass. At the foot of the Rockies, Denver International is the nation's third busiest airport. A critical hub for Southwest and United, sitting just west of the country's midpoint. From the terminal to United's command center. Boarding complete, Bravo 16, Bravo 16. To the ramp tower. One, two, pass, Alpha 23, direct to three whiskey. To the runway. Denver is neck and neck every month with Chicago O'Hare for United's busiest airport. And now, the December rush is on. United as a whole will have over 10 million customers. We'll have over a million here just in Denver. We get over 50,000 every single day. And if it's Denver, that can mean snow. Earlier this month, United de-iced a record 471 planes in one day as they dug out from five inches of snow, starting with plane engines, then nose to tail, wingtip to wingtip. We want to make sure that all frozen contaminants are removed from all the critical lifting surfaces, the fuselage, the tail, the wings. Four trucks surround a plane on the pad, methodically spraying it down to ensure it's safe to fly. It's not just snow, it's freezing rain, it's frost, it's ice, it's any kind of freezing pellets or moisture that might weigh down a plane. All of it must be taken off before the plane can ever fly. An advanced science based on the lessons of decades old ice related crashes. The de-icing op center constantly tracks the temperature and the forecast. Last year, United went through 1.7 million gallons of de-icing fluid in Denver. Each plane typically takes 10 to 15 minutes to clear. This is not a job that you can be cavalier at. Safety, that's my, that's my first and foremost, is the safety of flight. Ensure that airplane is clean before takeoff and before you release it off the pad. This morning, with passenger levels growing, airports nationwide are at all hands on deck. Hey, Tom, given just how busy it is right now, how do the crews make sure that this doesn't cause more delays? Well, listen, they can, right? If you had some significant uh, de-icing operations at any airport in the country, that could slow down the departure rate. But they're not going to take any chances on, on not de-icing a plane. And oh, by the way, yes, full disclosure, it's going to be 71 degrees in Denver today. It's going to be in the high 60s all week. So Denver this week is going to be looking pretty good. The ski areas are struggling, but Denver's going to be pretty warm, you guys. Looking pretty good. All right, Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.